day to be registered voters, and I love you for it. I will tell you that public education is one of the greatest things that we offer, but sometimes, sometimes, I'll just say sometimes, some decisions are made. Come back to you with a whole bunch of stuff. So you might have to rifle through. Sometimes there is a blatant waste of money. Yes? There's jokes and there's interrupting the stories. No, I'm just saying, so for the next two days, myself along with 219 other teachers in this district needed to have a sub so we can go and take a look at the standards and reassess and realign them. This has been something that has been worked on for about the past 15 years. I know everything about our standards inside and out and where to find them. And if you ever look on Schoology under our notes, you will see that there's little, you know, MA.9-12.5.4.A, B. If you hover over that, that's actually the mathematical standards throughout the United States. Some of them are Colorado standards, some of them are Common Core, some of them are. So I know exactly where to find them. And if a goofball like me can figure them out. I think the rest of the population in the world can. I don't think I'm that smart of a person. I mean, my dad called me son, but I know I'm not bright. So. How many times have you made that joke? Oh, because I asked your car. It's not a joke, it's real life, Sawyer. <laughs> so, I think what we are needing to do is now make the standards more usable. Rather than saying math, math dot nine slash twelve blah blah blah, I think it'll be here. Finding the vertex of a parabola. I think that's what I'm going to be doing for the next two days. So if I, you see me on Friday, and I'm like wandering around the East Building or something, just, just let 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 me be. I lost my mind. I'll just say that. So now to answer your question, Hannah. Who would I recommend for a good teacher? Who would you like me to? I don't know who's taking it. It's the guy that's fantastic. You said Riker would be good, right? Who? Riker? Oh, yeah. No. She's awesome. She's awesome. She's awesome. She's awesome. She's awesome. She's awesome. Are you serious? No. Now, awesome teachers. Love her. She's Riker. No, she's great. No, her name is she was her. She's, uh, I only put my daughter in her, my, her class in her group. She was uh, Any other teachers? So, did I answer your question? I have one more. Yes. Yes. Um, Wait, I have a better. Ray, 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 yeah. Are there any bad teachers? Not as far as this department goes, no. Okay. I, I, I truly, so anyone who has ever known me knows that I will say flat out, when I was at Chaparral, when I was at Wooster High School, when I was at Las, Las Vegas Academy, when I was at, in, even with summer school, I was the best math teacher at those schools, hands down. Easy to do. Come here. Of the 36 math teachers we have, I'm probably number 34. Wait, so who are the two that are I will tell you. Uh, the guy <laughs> Mr. Stroop, when can you hear the orange right. story? Oh, we'll figure that out. Soon. The sub will tell it? No. Some random person that her email to me was. I just need you to know that I don't teach math and I don't know how to use a smart board. Yes. Hey, can I, I can we teach you a trick? Oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 that trick. Yeah. So you know that dragon thing? You can take it. You can take it. Shh. It's important. You don't know it and it's crazy. It's mind blowing. Do you have any presentations like today? Are there any like set up presentations? They're called notes. Like, you know, notes. 
for 10.8, right? 10.8, number one. Okay. So 10.8, number one. All right. this angle, and we want to find ABC, we want to find this angle as well, which we'll get to. Find CD, so we want to find this whole length here, and then find the perimeter and find the area. Alright, also coming out to you is just some 
things that you need to know for the test. No, you can't use this on the test. All right. Um, first thing, it's a five-sided object, so I'm going to go n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So this is going to become 5. This is 5. 5 minus that's 3 times 180 divided by 5. Is that okay so far? So help me out if you have a calculator. It would be great. 3 times 180 is 540. 540 divided by 5 is 108. Sorry, I didn't need your help. Okay. So every one of these angles here is going to be 108 degrees. 108, 108, 108. Including this one right here is 108. But what are we doing with this? I'm going to draw this triangle out here. 108 cut in half is 54. So that's 54 and that's still 6. Then this has to be 36 degrees because 54 and 36 add together to give me 90. Everyone still with me? All right, so then we want to figure out this length right here. And what do you know about this length right here in comparison to this length? It's half of it. Good. All right, so um, if I did opposite and adjacent, if I called this just question mark, I would do tangent 54 equals 6 over question mark. So question mark. Multiply to both sides, just tangent 54 equals 6. The so question mark equals 6 over tangent 54. So if you choose, chose the 36, you could go tangent 36 equals question mark over 6. It would give you the same answer. Okay, so I need your help. What is 6 tangent 54? Make sure your calculator is in degree. Wait, 6 tangent 24? 6 times 24. 6 divided by tangent 54. 4.35? Yeah. Thank you. So if that's 4.35, that means the side length here is double 4.35, so that becomes 8.7. And so if I use this, I have P equals N, number of sides, 5, times the length of each side, 8.7. So whatever that multiplies out to, that, how much? 43.5. 43.5 units. That's our perimeter. If I wanted to find the area, I have area equals one half. What's my apothem? Six. Six. Number of sides? Five. Five. Length of each side? So if you multiply that all together, so six times five times 8.7, whatever, and divide by two, you'll get the area, which is? 130.78. 130.78. Square units. So I think I answered all the questions about problem number one. Uh, yes, sir. Three A. This is off ten point eight. Yes. Okay. Find the area of each round of the tenth. An equilateral triangle. Okay. So this is number three A. We have an equilateral triangle. They tell us that the apothem from here to here is 2 square root 3, correct? So what does the apothem do with that side by chance? What are some things you might know? Cuts into two equal parts. What else does it do? Times 2 divided. That makes it 90, right? Is that okay so far? And we want to find the area of each. So area is equal to 1 half the apothem times the number of sides times the length of each side. So right now I have 1 half A, number of sides 3, I don't have the length of each side. So if it's an equilateral triangle, this radius here cuts the angle in half, which makes this a 30 degree angle. Agreed? That means that has to be a 60 degree angle. Agreed? So let me pull that triangle out, make it a little bit bigger. So that's 30, that's a 60, so that's 2 root 3. So I'm looking for the side opposite of the 60. So side opposite of the 60 means if I go opposite here, I have to multiply by what? 
I have to multiply by root 3, so I get 2 root 3 times root 3. So 2 root 3 times root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9. Root 9 is? Root 3. 3. 3 times, so this has to be a distance of 6. So what is the length of my entire side? 12. So then I'll plug that in right here. So 36. 36 root 3, I believe, yeah. square units. Is that okay? Cool. Yeah? Number 8. Okay, so find the area of the shaded region. It looks like we have an equilateral triangle with a circle embedded in it, right? Is that right? Am I saying that one right? Okay, so... This, and I have this. I may have to move that a smidge. Call it good. All right. Now I need a whole line. Sure. I need it. Oh, I need this? Yeah, you need the line. No. Okay. That's five. That's that. So we want to find the area of the shaded regions, which all three of those shaded regions should be the exact same size. Okay. Hmm. All right. So what is... What is the 5 in relation to the triangle? 3. Good, it's the apothem. Now, don't get confused on this. That blue is the radius. It would be the radius if I had the circle on the outside. But, so that's just we know. So this is, uh, these are each 60. So that has to be a 30. So I'm going to pull out this right triangle. So you can take a look at that right triangle. So I have this, that's five, this is 30. I need to have this go, this opposite of 60, so I'm gonna multiply by root three. So that's five root three. So the whole side like this, 10 root three. Nice. All right, so area is equal to one half anus. Not sure if you guys remember that or not, but the yeah. apothem was five. Number of sides is 3. Length of each side is 10 root 3. So 25, 75 root 3 square units is the triangle. Is that all right? Now the area of the circle, area of the circle, area of the circle is it, uh, pi r squared, right? Where our radius of the circle is 5, so I get 25 pi square units. That's the area of the circle. All right, so then if I go, what's bigger, the triangle or the circle? Triangle, so if I go 75 root 3 minus 25 pi square units, that would be the area of the little corner parts. What? Oh, did they, they didn't leave it as is? So they came up with 51. Oh, it says round to the tenths. I didn't realize that. Okay, will somebody do me a favor? What is 75 times root 3? 129 what? 129.9 minus, what is 25 times 3.14? 78.5, and 129.9 minus 78.5, 51.4 square units. Was that the answer? Yeah. Oh, good. Woo! What the test is that going to be? What, how do you want it to put the eight times to the tenths? If it says to the tenths, then take it out like that. I didn't realize it said that. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Deb. Um, so on the test, huh? Uh, 
I, I'm going ballpark on these. If I say round to the tenths, I want one decimal. Don't give me the one that takes it that far. If it says leave it in terms of pi, leave it in terms of pi. Or if it says leave it as an exact answer. So like this right here is an exact answer. This is a decimal approximate. So if I say leave it as an exact answer, that's what I'm looking for. Okay? Yeah. Five? Number five. Number five appears to be one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a seven-sided object, yes? Okay. Here we go. So a seven-sided object, we know that the perimeter is equal to 63 units. So being a heptagon, so that means that each side is going to be Nine units, right? So I have nine going around. Is that all right? Everyone with me? Okay, and I forgot what this is asking. It's asking for, find the area round to the tenths. Okay. So I know that area is equal to one half anus. Uh, so I have one half. I don't know what the apothem is at this point. Number of sides is seven. Length of each side is nine. Okay. So now I have to figure out the apothem. So I'm going to go here to here. So here comes my right triangle. How long is this distance now? 4.5. Okay. This is my apothem. Okay. So I need to go to my go-to. N minus 2 times 180 divided by N. Uh, so, so that's... 5 times 180, 5 times 180, whatever that comes out to, divided by 7. Because n minus 2, 7 minus 2. So 157 point. 128. 0.57. Okay, I was only off by a couple hundred million. So each one of these angles is 128.57, rounded to two decimals. So what is 128.57 cut in half? 64 what? 64.28. Okay. I don't really need to worry about that angle right now. And I know I have the apothem here. So if I did this, if I use 64.28, my apothem on this side looks like opposite and adjacent, so that's tangent. So if I have tangent 64.28 is equal to A over 4.5. So what is 4.5 times tangent 64.28? Again, make sure your calculator is in degrees. 9.34, thank you. So now our apothem is 9.34. So now we can put our apothem here is 9.34. And do the math. Good. 294 point what? Three. Two one, they wanted the tenths of that square units. So that's 63 times 9.39 or 9.34, whatever that answer is, divided by two. Is that good? Yeah. All right. What else? Got three and B. A regular nonagon with Side length, okay. What's a nonagon? Nine sides. Nine sides. So three B. So nine sided. Sweet. All right. Side length six point eight four. Okay. We still good? And we want to just find the area. So I know area is equal to one half A and S. All right. So here's this right triangle. This is the apothem that we need to figure out. Uh, 6.84 and half is 3.42. So that's this distance. So let me pull that triangle out. Uh, 3.42. All right. 
We now have to figure out each angle. Each angle, I have n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So it's 9 sided, so 7 times 180 divided by 9? Uh, yes. 140, right? <laughs> Did I get it? Yeah. Woohoo! How, what? How did you, what? Uh, 9 goes into I 18 I, okay. twice, so 20. Oh, yeah. Wait, you can. Yeah, it's called order of operations, but thanks for paying attention in elementary math. Oh. I was in Spain. Math is like very variable over there. <laughs> See. All right, so if all those are 140, how big does this angle have to be right here? 70. We don't really need to worry about this angle up here. Uh, so I have 70 here. I have an opposite side and an adjacent side, so that's going to be tangent. So I get tangent 70 is equal to A over 3.42. So 3.42 times tangent 70 is what? 3.42 times tangent 70 is what? Okay, Spain boy. How much? 9.39, thank you. All right, so... So I have the apothem I know, so area is equal to one half, the apothem of 9.39. The number of sides is nine. The length of each side is 6.84. If you multiply 9.39 times nine times 6.84, and then divide by two, you will get 289.02, I think it's tenth square. I like it. Nice. I like it. Anything else? All right. So the rest of that will be due on Friday. Friday. Okay. So let's take a look at what the review is. Okay. No, I did not assign you the review, but let's take a look at the review. What do you see on the review? Let's be on the very first page of the review. So looking at problems 1 through 12 of the review. What do you see on 1 through 12? Bless you. No, she said it was oh, yeah. 11. So this is from the review, number 11. All right, so we have this shape for the most part. This is 4 and 3. Looks like everything's a right angle in here. This is 8 and 15. Okay? And they want us to find the area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that like that. So how long is this distance then? Five. five. So this area is 12. This area is 5 times 15, which is 75. So our area is 87 square units. I like that one. We should have a lot more like <laughs> What else on that front page up through 12? Yeah. One. Review number one. We have a triangle. Twelve, ten, ten. Find the area of each. Okay. First thing you need to recognize is if you draw an altitude in, six. when it's that, this right here has to be a length of six. So now you can figure out this, which is going to be eight if you use Pythagorean theorem. So then area is equal to one half base times height. So one half the base is 12, the height happens to be eight. So six times eight is 48 square units. Is that okay? You okay that I do the Pythagorean theorem? I just recognize there's a triple double. Ooh, uh, triple yeah. double, dude. Uh, Might be some good. Yeah. Um, oh, the S one? Yeah. yeah, I bet you that would work too. Do you want me to go that far with it? No. Okay. So I have to find the S value, which is half the perimeter. 
And then the area would be the square root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Do what? Yeah. Um, number seven. Seven. Number seven. Five forty. Rumbo. Twelve. Okay. All right, so if we're going to find the area of this, it's just base times height. Base and height are always perpendicular to each other. So we are kind of missing the height. So if we pull that triangle out right there, we have H, we have 40, and we have 5. Looks like if I did sine, if I did sine 40 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, H over 5. So 5 sine 40, that's calculator worthy. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, 3.213, 3.21, okay. So I now have area is equal to 3.21 times our base, which is 12, which comes out to some. Yeah. Yep. What is it? 38 square units. Is that okay? I don't forget who asked for Ellie. Which one do you want? Three? Who? I who was asked for three or something? Three, seven. Did I tell you already? Number three, you want that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So number three is going to be one of those, uh, one of those ones that we all love. So I need to figure out my S value. Our S value, this is not the number of sides. This is half the perimeter. Okay, so this is going to be half of 4 plus 6 plus 8. So that's 10, 18. So our S value is 9. And again, that doesn't represent the number of sides, or the length of each side. Okay? In order to find the area of this, so remember, it's the area of a triangle that can don't have the three sides. So S times quantity, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So that's going to be 9 times 9 minus 4, which is 5, 9 minus 6, which is 3, and 9 minus 8, which is 1. So I get 45 times 3 is 135, so root 135 square units. I don't know if that's what the answer wanted to be or if they actually took the square to 135. I don't think any perfect square is going to 135, so I'll go. Johnny? Uh, Five. Number five, you have a square. Still with me on this story? We know the diagonal of the square is 5 root 2. Okay, so... You can do this a number of different ways. You want me to solve it as a kite? If that diagonal is 5 root 2, what do you think that diagonal is? 5 root 2 is still a kite. Kite equation is d1, d2. And half of that, so I get 5 root 2 times 5 root 2 times half. So that's uh, 25 times 2 half. So I get 25 square units. If you don't like that way, then you have to realize that this right here is a 45, 45, 90, where the hypotenuse is that. So each side is 5 and 5, so 5 times 5 is 25, if you wanted to do it that way. So it's your choice which way you want to do it. Johnny? Okay, cool. So should we flip the page? All right. So, not seeing one right there on the review. Not to say that it wouldn't be on there. 23. Oh, hey, look at 23. Woo! Hey, oh, then, like. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be there. 23, you got it. 23 being done.
Of it, so I'm going to do the ratio, which again is 40 over 360. 40 over 360 reduces to 1 over 9 times 2 times pi times r, which is 12. And so I get, let's see, I can reduce this 9, that's 3, goes to 4. So I'm going to get 8 pi over 3 units is my distance here. And that's in terms of pi. Does everyone know how to get that into tenths? Eight times three point one four divided by three. Enter. Yeah. So is the area that you found the one forty four over nine pi? Uh huh. Is that the area of AOB or the whole circle? That's it. Area. Okay. Yeah. So what happens if there's like the number five out of the number of pi? Okay, I do, and I I'll just I'm not sure. If, I know it was on the the quiz, so let's let's do this. Let's make sure we can do this. I'm going to do this two different ways. So let's say, let's say we know that this is 11 pi units. Is that okay? So that would be this distance right here. And we want to now find the, let's say we want to find this area. Wait, right now we know the distance. Is that okay? Does that seem fair? Okay, so. Let's do this. I know the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, but I know I'm going to have some angle theta. That's a Greek letter theta, if you can make it x if you want. I'm just okay. So what we really need to find in this process is I need to solve. I need, let's see, can I do that first? Yeah, so 11 pi, oh, do I have enough to solve this? I think I have too many variables right now. I'll just write it as one, like I don't want to do No, no, I would, I would cancel out the pi. So I have this so far, bless you, and pi, and then r. So if I divide, if I divide 2 pi over here, this becomes 11 over 2, where the pi's cancel out. So uh, there's one piece of information I'm missing here. Yeah, I have a radius and a theta there. So I keep thinking, oh, I have a quiz with me. Well, let's take a look at that. I'm taking a look. I'm taking a look. Oh, oh, we get, oh, oh, oh. So on this type of problem, we would give you also like the radius here being six. So now that's going to help us out. Uh, theta over 360 times 6. So let's pretend that 6 was already there. It was given to you as part of the problem. So uh, let's see. Uh, 11 over 2 equals theta. 6 will reduce to 360 60 times. Cross multiply 2 theta. Theta is a variable. Times 11 times 60 is 660. So this is going to tell us that theta is equal to 330 degrees. So obviously our angle sucks. So we're saying that this is 330 degree angle. But it doesn't look like it. Sorry. All right, so then if you wanted to find then the area of that sector, you're going to go 330 divided by 360. 
pi r squared, where r we knew is, is that, so I got 36 here. So 36 goes into 360 10 times, 10 goes into 330 33 times. So the area would be 33 pi square units. And you're like, it just went too fast. Thank goodness I recorded. You'll be able to find this at 40 minutes in. Okay, just in case you came across that type of problem. Uh, what else from, yeah, 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Oh, great question, great question. All right, so number 22, they have a side length of x, so you have this weird shape, and then you have this other weird shape, which are similar, meaning they maintain, and then we know that side length is x. But they tell us the area is 40, and then they tell you the area here is 10. What is the relationship between a side length and an area? Yeah, so what I have to do is I have to go, I have to go x squared over 40. Is that okay so far? It is equal to what? 36. 36 over 10. Does everyone comprehend why we did that? The side length is a linear. I need to make it a quadratic, so I have to square it. Okay? Don't go backwards. Don't go, oh, but I'll just do the square to this. Don't. No. Bad, bad idea. Okay? That wasn't a real fart. That was just my tongue. Okay? I farted three times earlier, but I farted so I didn't know. I'm just kidding. What is 36 times 40? Uh, it's 36 times 4, which is a big number. 1,000. 400 divided by 10. Oh, this will work out nice. X is equal to plus or minus 12. It's obviously positive 12. Done. No plus, just no money. Woo! Yes. 2 5. Oh, that's a good one. Number 25. So this is a rhombus. Find A B. So that's what they want us to find that pink thing, right? All right. So if this is thirty six. This is thirty six. This is fifteen. That's fifteen. Still with me? It's a rhombus. So is it diagonal one times diagonal two, or is there one half in there? Half d one d two. Okay. So half diagonal one seventy two. Half diagonal two is thirty. So with me. So I get thirty six times thirty, which is one oh eight oh. Thank you. So that's the area. But then we have to realize if it's a rhombus, this is a ninety. This is a ninety. 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 So then I have uh, 1536. So then I technically have this 1536. Uh, help me out, real quick. 36 squared plus 15 squared. It comes out to what? 39 exactly. Okay, cool. So if that's 39, that would mean this is 39 right here. So uh, area is also equal to base times height. Uh, we're looking for the height. We don't know it. I know the area is 1080 because we found the area the other way. We found that the base is 39 and then the height. So what is 1080 divided by 39? 27.69. Perfect. So you find the area using the diagonals. And then you use that area to find it with base times height. All right. Oh, we can keep going then. Cool. So, guys and girls, the only thing, the only thing that you will give to the sub, you have an 11.1 lecture, which you'll have, you'll look on Schoology. The sub will have a couple of handouts, but it'll be on Schoology. Still with me? And then hand in to me on Friday the review, the 10.8, and then the 11.1. Okay. Okay. So I, I put you in for giving benefit of the doubt. No, no, no. This is a 10-4-10. I, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, I think. No, you did. I, I just shut it up. Is, I didn't, because this is so